Hey YouTube, I'm back. This is Talia, Life with T, with my second video. So this video is going to cover all things that I'm taking with me to Miami because my days are getting closer. I am, um, let's see, I'm six days, six days away from being, uh, getting surgery because I do have surgery on the 23rd. I did mention that in the first video, so I do have surgery, get my BBL with LiPo360 on June 23rd with Dr. Vagley at Spectrum Aesthetics. So I have six days until my surgery and four days until I leave for Miami. So I go to Miami on Sunday. I leave Sunday here from Houston at, I want to say like 11.30, if I'm not mistaken. And I will get to Miami at, uh, I will get to Miami at 3 o'clock p.m. that is uh sunday afternoon i'll be going with my mom and my aunt so um before i get into what i'm taking because i am going to actually put that in another clip um i'm just going to talk about a little bit how i basically how i knew what to take so before like i said um before i booked my bbl before i you know looked up places of where i wanted to go um I had looked at a lot of YouTube videos, like a lot of YouTube videos, and I'm also in a lot of surgery groups, so I will link those groups below. Um, so I had looked up between those surgery groups and between YouTube, it's like I kind of got a lot of information of things that I need to take and things that I did not need to take. So some of the stuff that I do have, I have the majority of things that I need. Um, some of the things um, that I do also need, I will get while I'm in Miami, but for the most part, um, I'm packing everything that I need um, in my suitcase. Like I had mentioned before in my first video, everything that I wanted, I mean, everything, excuse me, everything that I needed to take, I got in, um, <clears throat> basically got in increments. So every time I got paid, um, every time I just got a whole little money, like I had a little extra money over, I would order some things off of Amazon. So between Amazon, Target, Walmart, JCPenney, um, I got everything that I needed for my surgery. So, like I said, I, it's like tons of videos that's showing like things that you need in a surgery group. People are very, very helpful. It's been a lot of things that I didn't even think of that wasn't wasn't covered in the YouTube videos. Like somebody has suggested knee pads, for instance. Now, I'm not going to buy any, but that was like a good like thought. It's just like, okay, knee pads, because I guess in a sense, that's how you, you know, that's going to be in how you're sitting down. Uh, you'll be sitting down, you know, kneeling down a lot. Um, if you don't want to lay down a lot, like a lot of people, I know they talk about laying on their stomach is very uncomfortable. I am, uh, well, I'm an all around sleeper basically. So me being on my stomach is not going to be a problem. So I lay on my stomach, on my sides and my back, but I do know for the first, you know, three to six weeks, you can't lay on your, um, your stomach or, I mean, sorry, you can't lay on your back and you can't lay on your sides. Um, I thought about investing in a maternity pillow. I believe somebody had mentioned that. Um, in one of the surgery groups I was in, but then they never like followed up with it. I'm um, talking about like whether it worked or not, and they do look rather comfortable. So I'm thinking about I might get one of those because I don't think that I'll be able to honestly sleep on my back 24/7 for six weeks. Like that's a long, long time. So I might invest in one of those maternity pillows. Um, I do see people talk about the BBL mattresses. Uh, first of all, I. I no, I'm just not going to get one. Um, not to say that it not necessarily work, but I've seen a lot of people get the BBL mattresses and then the BBL, uh, like, bean bag, and they end up not using it. So, the surgery groups I'm in, like, a lot of women are actually, like, trying to sell them because they did not use them. And then I also heard about the avocado, and I heard the avocado, um, you sink down. So, you end up basically laying on your butt. Um, so, I don't, I'm not going to waste my money on that either. Or whatever so i'm just gonna try to thug it out on my stomach for as long as i can like i said i might get the maternity pillow i've seen one on groupon i do got some groupon books i need to use so i might just go ahead and get that since it won't really cost me you know extra money to do that so we're gonna go ahead in the next clip we're gonna go ahead and get into what i'm taking for my bbl oh well, i'm just packing up my stuff i already have like a um a blanket in here the blanket is Dang, they're bigger than the suitcase. But anyway, I got just like a little comfortable blanket. I know people always talking about like being cold. So I just brought an extra blanket. 
but I'm also double timing it and I have a heated blanket. So this is my heated blanket. I actually had got from Target. I got this from Target like a while ago because I actually, um, I had the flu. I had the flu uh, back in December. So I had got a heated blanket because I was going through like those cold spells, like hot and cold, hot and cold. So when I was like cold, cold, my comforter wouldn't happen in my room. So I got my heated blanket. So that's my heated blanket there. And of course the cord that goes with it. So I'm putting that in there. Um, I also packed like a lot of like maxi dresses, like a lot of flowy dresses and everything too. I got those from between Sheen, Boohoo, and uh, Forever 21. So these are just one of the dresses here. I really do not like this dress. This dress was supposed to be in like the olive color and it came out like this nasty uh, yellow. Anyways, so all these little just t-shirt type dresses, nothing major. Um, like I said, just to get me through like I see some women, I guess I like, took tights and stuff, like uh, or biking shorts. I didn't um, have those. I guess didn't have any of those to take, or didn't want to take any anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, a lot of just different dresses. I'm a type of person. I'm an overpacker, like over. I can go on a weekend trip and I will pack, baby. I pack about sixteen <laughs> different dresses pants, outfits, or whatever, just for two days. Like, I'm awesome. I like to have options, basically. So I'm just, oh, and I also got some cami, just some regular camisole. That is not a cami, child. This is one of my jumpsuits. I thought it was a cami. Anyway, don't worry about that. Put that over there. Um, <laughs> I got some camis, because I know they said, like, put the camis under your faja. So I just got some little camisoles. Um, the little cheap camera style, these came for Forever 21. And I know they, I think they have some at Walmart too, um, for like a dollar and some change. But the Walmart by my house, I didn't see any, so I just ordered some for Forever 21. I had ordered some online. Um, like I said, still with the dress is one of the long maxi dresses. So since I am going to be there, like I said, Sunday, um, from Sunday, it's another candy. I um, want to pack some stuff that, you know, well, like I said, we're not going out because I'm with my mom and my aunt. If I was with my friends or something, that'd be different. So, um, but I know my auntie, when, you know, when my mom ain't never been, my, I know my mom hasn't been, so we might want to go to the beach or go see something if everything is not shut down because I know they are still, they're going like backwards, like shutting other bars and stuff down because Corona, Corona's still out and popping. Um, anyway, and I've seen this cute, this is a cute little dress. A little, I guess they call it baby doll dress. I just hope I don't be assed out, basically. Because right now, it fits just right under the cuff of the little ass I got. So once that thing start poking, it might be too long. All right. So these are some long little tube top maxi dresses I got from Boohoo as well. So like I said, once again, I'm just an over, over packer. And to be perfectly honest, one of my blankets might have to go on my backpack because it's get a little get a little tight up in here. Or I might just put this on top. So like I said, this is a big blanket. Also got the nightgowns. I see several women with these. Jones on the little t-shirt nightgowns from Walmart. Got these here. Got one of these. Another t-shirt dress from Walmart. This was $9, I believe. And it's actually too big, so I don't know. I don't know. That's all I can say. I guess um, when I wash it and dry it, hopefully it'll shrink through. And another thing. So the biggest thing I see when people wearing their fire highs, they just, titties just be hanging, just be out. A lot of women when they're like trying to show like their before, like their little pictures and stuff, they got to hold their boobs and do all this like, I don't plan on wearing a bra, but I'm not just about to be hanging like that. So I had got these little um, bralette things, little uh, bandeau bralette things from Walmart uh, for $6, $6, $7. 
And I plan on having these on because even though I ain't got much, I ain't about to be out here like that. Like my titties ain't about to be just hanging. Like, no, no deal. It's gonna happen. Anyway. Um, of course, then a robe. So they say like, you know, have your little robe and make sure, you know, you're comfortable when you're going in for surgery. So that little t-shirt dress, I mean, not t-shirt dress, little um, shirt, gown or whatever is what I plan on wearing to surgery. And then I have my robe over it. I also see somebody suggest a zip up gown, like one of them granny moo moo type gowns. I didn't find any within reason. And since I had already bought that stuff from Walmart, I wasn't gonna go spend any more money. So I just, just, it is what it is. All right, so now for the good stuff, for the actual supplies. So like I said, I have all my stuff still in this box because like I said, I had accumulated stuff over time. So I do have my um, extra strength Tylenol here. I don't, I open it because I have been having headaches. I've been having headaches for like four days straight. I don't know what that's about. Um, then you have your Tylenol 8 hour. So this is like the muscle and muscle aches and pain Tylenol. I've seen somebody talking about this, so I got this as well. I also got me some Percocets and some Xanax and some muscle relaxers too, because I know I heard that um like I guess so many people getting surgery, so a lot of pharmacies are taking longer to fill those prescriptions. So all I can say is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So I have that as well that I'm taking with me. And I suffer from anxiety, so that's why I have Xanax. Um, <laughs> so then I have these um, always like disposable underwear. So I know you be basically balls out um, in the far high, you know, you going commando. So I will, I guess, have these on over that. And also I know to catch some of the blood. I know a lot of ladies have like the maxi pads or the poise pads. They'll put... Um, I don't know if I'm about that life just yet. I might take some with me. I'm not sure, but we'll, I don't know. We'll see. So I'll put that in there somewhere in there in a minute. Um, now, I also, I bought my own phone, um, which was three in a pack. These came from Amazon. And I also bought a board as well. So this board is kind of, it ain't too hard so i might end up getting another one because this one is kind of soft but i got this from amazon also um so i might actually just get another one of these but i am going to take this with me anyway um just so i can have something um, i'm gonna see how well it compresses if it doesn't compress enough or it doesn't do what it's supposed to do then i will go amazon and get another one but i got these also like i said these three it comes three in a pack Okay, so I also bought some compression socks. So I do know they give you compression socks um, there. Where well, they give you one pair of those white compression socks that end up being like disgusting um, after a while. So instead of just wearing the same one, then I don't think your toes are in the inside of them or whatever. So I did buy two. I got some little cute ones. Um, I got these from Target. Um, I think for like seven bucks. So I got just two pair of compression socks that I am going to take with me also. Then I got some bio oil. So the bio oil for um, just to put on like the scars. I mean, I am a type of person that will heal quickly. So when I know I'm starting to heal up, I will start to put this on my scars as well. Um, I won't say I put on my stretch marks. My stretch, stretch marks are old. I've been having stretch marks since I had my first kid 12 years ago. So it won't do anything for that because I know I am going to have like the stretch marks and loose skin that's going to be on my stomach. So I'm just going to use this more so to focus on my scars that I will have the incision sites. All right, so then I see somebody that recommended Dermaplast. Um, so Dermaplast. It just like cools the skin, I believe. So I know somebody said to put this on before you get your um, massages. And I also seen somebody recommend it for the itching. So I did buy some. It was like six bucks on Amazon. Um, so I just wanted to, um, like I said, buy it, try it out. If it work, it work. If not, you know, whatever. I can't say, you know, everything is different for different people. 
Um, nail sporing. So I got the nail sporing tool to help for the incision sites. And then I got the Hyperclean. So I know you're supposed to, I know they said something about like using this um, a week before the surgery, but the way my skin set up, no. And it don't lather up. I don't feel clean. So I am going to, I'm not going to put this uh, in my packet, my uh, suitcase just yet because I am going to start using this on Friday. So I use Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Of course, Monday would be the day before surgery. And then I will take this with me. So I'm just going to put this over here because I do need to um, start using this starting Friday. And then I do have some stool softeners, Ducalex of stool softeners. I also have some um, laxatives, but my laxatives, I didn't buy. I've been having those, so I got to go and find them. They're somewhere in my junk drawer somewhere, and I will put those in there with me. I'm going to, I really hope I don't have to take the laxatives because I don't like the way it makes my stomach feel, so I'm hoping this will do. And I watched, uh, watched another video. Um, the lady, she was in, um, she went to Mia in Austin. And she said to go get a beet juice, uh, beet juice smoothie from Jamma Juice. She said that I actually helps as well. So I'm, here, I'm think I'm gonna try that before I go to laxative around because I do know like the Percocets and those things can constipate you. So, but I want to take these anyway because I don't want no problems. I don't like them constipated. All right, so I have some Arnica gel. So I have the Arnica gel. Um, like I said, I heard this is for your bruising and swelling, so I do have this. I also have some tablets, which I don't uh, have out here. They're in my room. I had got from Amazon. It was actually delivered the other day. I have some Arnica tablets in the gel, and then I probably will. I'm more than likely to buy some tea as well because, you know, I don't want to swell up. And I'm a person, I bruise so easy. So it's like I don't want to be all bruised up and everything either. Bromelain. So I see somebody talking about bromelain. I know this is um, in pineapples. So they talk about pineapple juice or eating pineapples. I do not like pineapple juice unless it's mixed with <laughs> Ciroc red berry. But um, so I won't be drinking no pineapple juice. I don't like pineapple juice. It's just it got this, I don't know, this taste to it. I, I, I can't drink it straight by itself. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to eat pineapples. And hopefully, um, you know, this also helps with the swelling as well. So I'm going to take those. I have some dial soap, some regular dial soap. So uh, in conjunction with my hybrid cleanse, I'm going to be taking this with me as well. I'm also gonna get some Dove for my lady parts because dial does not go there. It don't go there. It don't go there and it's not going on me. So I have dial, I have hybrid cleanse and I'm gonna have some Dove. So that'll be, I'll be extra clean, fresh and clean, okay? And then I have my Benadryl. So again, they talk about the itching. Since the itching, itching isn't actually on the outside, like you can't scratch it. I know people talk about like the Benadryl. So I will have um, the Benadryl to take with me also. And I also want to take some, um, I'm going to take some um, melatonin. I'm going to take some melatonin with me as well to help me sleep. But between, really and truly between the Xanax and Percocets, and now I probably won't even need no help sleeping, but I just want to be on the safe side. Um, Hemoplex. So I'm going to take this with me because I had some Floridex, which I finished already. <sighs> Floridex is so nasty. It like, it started out tasting like apple juice, like the initial taste, and then it has this metallic, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's disgusting. Anyway, taste to it. So now that I finished that bottle, I need to actually start taking this before my surgery too. So I'll be taking this now. Um, in conjunct, I guess not in conjunction with, but I'll be taking this now, and then of course I'll be taking it after my surgery as well. Um, I know a lot of people, I guess, have been taking supplements, so I will get into that just real quickly. So I have been taking some supplements, um, you know, before surgery. So I took the Fortex, I took folic acid, I took vitamin C. Um, I also had some iron pills. So what I would do instead of taking like all the iron pills and the Fortex at the same time, because the Fortex is iron. Um, it helps, you know, for your blood. So those of you who have a low hemoglobin, it works because I am anemic. And I did take a Floridex up until I went and got my medical clearance from my doctor and my hemo, uh, my <clears throat> hemo was 12.6. So it actually worked. Um, and then, like I said, I would take that. It's like two, 20 milliliters a day. And then I would take the folic acid and the vitamin C. Um, some days if I don't, if I forget to take that second dosage of the 
Floridex, then I would take an iron pill that I had because I had already had some iron pills on hand. So I just wanted to finish those off. So one day I'll take like the 10 milliliters of the Floridex and then I'll take a iron pill, you know, to kind of balance it all out. So my iron pills are gone, the Floridex is gone. So now I have my Hemoplex. Uh, so I'm gonna start taking these along with my folic acid and iron, I mean, vitamin C. Um, and then of course, after that, I would just continue to take these. Um, Basically, until I don't feel weak anymore, because I know you do, you do lose a lot of blood and everything after surgery. I didn't get the cell saver, so I just want to make sure I'm not out here passing out. I don't need a blood transfusion or anything. I just want to make sure, like I said, this is a very safe and successful, easy, smooth surgery. All right, so I have the, um, also I have a shower, shower curtain liner for the bed. Um, I didn't, what I'm, what I'm going to buy when I get to Miami, I'm going to get another um, sheet. So I will log, lay this down. I'm going to get another just regular sheet, flat sheet, and or finished sheet. I don't know yet. It depends when I you know get out there and get to Walmart. And uh, then I'm going to get the, the Chuck's pad. So I didn't buy the Chuck's pad here because I knew it wasn't going to fit into the my uh, suitcase. So I'm going to buy the Chuck's pads when I get to Miami also. So when I get to Miami, I need to get my Chuck's pads and I need to get my fitted or flat sheet to go over there. So I won't mess up anything in my Airbnb. And then I got this. The only reason I got this because like I said, the Hyper Cleanse is, uh, yeah. If you ever like had surgery before, like I had surgery last year, I had a hernia repair. It doesn't lather up. And I don't even feel like it even, even when you put it on the towel, it just like the towel sucks it in, like soak it in. So when you wipe yourself off, it don't. It just feel like you wiping yourself off with water. So I said, well, I'm gonna try the sponge this time to see if it makes a difference. So I just got that from the Dollar Tree, and then I did get some because um, in my Airbnb it's a washing machine. So I just got some. Um, well, I don't even say this is for me for my house. That, that was a. <laughs> this is um. No, sorry. This is this is the fabric softener. I'm not taking that one with me, but I am going to take um, just a little thing of detergent with me. I'm also going to take some uh, bleach as well. Um, just a little thing of bleach, or I might buy that out there, um, depending, but I am going to take this with me. And this bag will be checked in, um, so it's not a care. I'm not taking it as a carry-on. Now, I also have a BBL pillow. So I got this little BBL pillow off Amazon. It was $20, $22, I think. I'm not sure if it, uh, I'm just not sure. I've seen some ones, I guess some ones that I felt like I guess maybe had been good ones, like the ridges for your thighs are a little deeper than this. This one was, it's a little cheapy cheap. Um, like I said, I'm not even too sure how to work it. I'm not, and I'm not about to embarrass myself and um, show y'all how I think it go. So I'm just, when that time come, it's gonna come. So I'm I'm going to take this for my flight back. Um, so I am going to pack this with me as well. Like I said, you can barely even see like the little ridges on it, but it's there. Like I said, somebody posted this in one of the surgery groups I was in. It's called like the Bootylicious Pillow. But man, ain't no booty. Anyway, go on here. So I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so like I said, my look, this is the Arnica, um, tabs I was talking about earlier. I have those. All right, so I do have the female urinal. So some people say don't use it. I've seen like so many different, like conflicting um, information on the female urinal. I've seen some people have that little pink one that's kind of like a little penis. You put it like cup and it shoots and I didn't want that because I heard somebody like they made a mess. So I got this one here. I got it on Amazon as well. So I'm going to assume when you put it in the little ridge of your fire high, hold it, pee in it. So I'll be having this one like close to the bed. So like I said, my mama can kind of help the girl out. Um, yeah, I have that, taking this with me too. And then I do have, also I have a boppy pillow. So I have the boppy pillow and I have the BBL pillow. So like I said, I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best. Um, like I said, I'm just trying them both out. It really don't matter. So this one kind of seems kind of soft. I see somebody talk about like a firmer one. So I'm gonna see, cause I got this from Target. 
So now that I can't actually return, I'm gonna see like maybe if I go online and see if it says like firm or not firm. If they do have a firm one, then I'm just gonna go and exchange this one out um, and get the firm, the more firm one. But so I do have a boppy pillow as well. Um, just real quickly, I was gonna show like the um, medicine, I guess the supplements that I had. So this was the folic acid. Um, this is the vitamin C. Y'all can't see because my ring light. Um, if you have a, if you're anywhere, you have a Kroger. Um, they do, they also they have like buy one get one free. So you can like I said buy either one and you get the other one free. So that's just good information to use if you have a Kroger anywhere near you. You live in an area where there's a Kroger or a state where they have Krogers. They do have the supplements like all their vitamins or buy one get one free. So if you haven't started taking the vitamins or anything like even like the regular iron pills, all that they have like the collagen pills. They have melatonin. Um, for people that still like trying to lose weight, I know I swear somewhere somebody talked about green green tea extract pills. They have those. So like all those, and they have like the hair skin and nail gummies. That's what I take for my hair, my hair skin and nails, really for my edges. That's never seem like they gonna grow back. Um, <clears throat> so all that is like buy one get one free. So that's just good information to use. Um, also what I don't have, I'm also gonna take some Lysol wipes. Um. My disposable mask, which I do have regular mask, um, gloves, you know, for my mom, my aunt that'll be helping me. I will be taking a little makeup. Like I said, we're going to be out there two days before surgery. So just in case, you know, I want to put a little, little eyebrow on or something, a little something, a little rouge, a little something. Um, I will be taking, like I said, my makeup with me. Of course, like my toiletries, um, everything like that. Um, I thought I was going to have my braces out yesterday but my orthodontist she 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 put a fast one on me so i have to take my my special toothbrush now because i still have braces on my teeth um unfortunately so that sucks but um so yeah so this is just like i said all that i'm taking with me um i real quickly so when i talk about the medical clearance so a lot of people have asked like in the surgery group that i'm in about like medical clearance um how like who they went to or how did you do it? So me, I went to my primary care physician and I got them. I tried to pull a fast one, I'll be honest to say. And I um, tried to get her to order like all the blood work and everything and put it in as like a regular physical. Cause when you get your regular physical, it's free. She didn't do that. She told me that I guess she couldn't code it in as that. Um, so I ended up basically paying for that. Uh, well, I just pay. I had to pay her just for the visit. My EKG was like ten bucks with my insurance. Um, then I had to pay for the chest X-ray. The chest X-ray is what is <laughs> what got me. That chest X-ray was three hundred dollars. That was three hundred bucks. So anyway, and LabCorp haven't sent me anything yet. So then I just have to see how much I have to pay for my actual um blood work because it was more extensive and that's the reason why she said she couldn't code it as a regular physical because the blood work was too extensive she said that somebody my age she would never have ordered that so they couldn't code it as that so i actually need to go back and get a regular physical too um but i probably more than likely go back after i have the surgery because everything came back normal um, with my medical clearance so like i said i went to my primary care physician with my insurance but a lot of people said like if you don't have insurance you can go to like urgent care but i'm pretty sure a lot of people well not gonna say pretty sure because i don't really know nobody's life but um some people have like the medicaid or whatever you can go to medicaid um anywhere from medicaid and it's free you know i wish i had medicaid still um or like the women's health um or whatever i guess they seen but i know the biggest issue is people still not seeing people because of Corona. Cause they even said like, I need to get my teeth cleaned and I um, haven't had it. Well, I, let me take that back. I thought I would get my teeth cleaned cause I thought I would get braces off. So um, like I said, the dentist, they still not open. Even though they sent the email saying they were open, they didn't answer the phone, they wasn't open. Um, yet, like I said, a lot of people, doctors aren't seeing people either um, just yet as well. So um, I guess it's just been a little difficult getting in where you know getting in where you can fit in when it comes to getting your medical clearance but um like i said when i did mine um all my results came back in my portal my doctor called me and she actually went through well excuse me she did her nurse did um went through um 
you know, went through my labs with me, telling me everything was normal and then they were sending them off. So even before I got the clearance from Spectrum, I had already was cleared from my doctor. So I already had knew that I was good to go. So this concludes my video. I said, this is everything that I'm taking. Um, for now, I guess I can't think of anything else um, outside of this. I mean, of course, besides the money that I'm taking, um, I really, that's it. You know, I'm gonna have some slides. Like I got my little Crocs here. Now I'm gonna show them my little Crocs, my little Crocs. Um, you know, Adidas slides, I got some pink slides, um, sandals, you know, that's it. I, I've been spending most of my time in a compression sock, so I'm not gonna be out there just trying to be cute or anything. Um, like I said, I just wanna be comfortable. Um, I probably will take as well too, um, instead of just wearing dresses all the time. I do have some Adidas pants. I don't know how they're gonna fit with that ass back there, but uh, we're gonna see. I do have some Adidas pants and I do have some other kind of jogger um, type pants as well um, that I'm gonna take with me. Oh, another thing I forgot to uh, mention before, I did add arm lipo. Yes, I did to my uh, surgery. So it made no sense to me to be all snatched down here and then we still build like a linebacker up here. So I did add arm lipo. I just want to get this little, this little piece gone. That's it. Nothing major. So like I said, my arms are huge. Probably can't tell in this video, but they are humongous. So I am going to get the uh, arm lipo, which was an extra four hundred dollars um, with my surgeon. So I'm gonna do arm lipo, and of course, like I said, three sixty lipo, um, BBL at the fat to the booty. Um, like I said, I just want a nice shape, stomach sucked in. Get this. This all this gone, and you know, get ready for uh summer 2021 because summer 2020 is canceled. All right, thanks for watching my video. Bye.